Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's a bit on the unconventional side, does urine cure athletes foot fungus? Yes, you heard that right. It's a remedy that's been floating around for ages and we're here to unpack the science and the myths behind it. So let's get started. Human urine is composed primarily of water, 95%. The rest is urea, 2%, creatinine, 0,1%, uric acid, 0.03%, chloride, sodium, potassium, sulfate, ammonium, phosphate, and other ions and molecules in lesser amounts. Does urine cure athlete's foot fungus? First off, what exactly is athlete's foot? Known medically as tinea pedis, it's a fungal infection that affects the skin on the feet and sometimes the toenails. It's itchy, uncomfortable, and can spread easily. Traditional treatments include antifungal creams and medications, but today we're exploring a much more let's say, unique approach, historical references and anecdotes. The idea of using urine as a cure all has been around for centuries, with athlete's foot being one of the ailments it's purported to treat. The logic? Well, urine contains compounds like urea and ammonia, which some claim have antifungal properties. But before you consider giving this a try, let's see what science has to say. Scientific analysis urine is mostly water, but it also contains minerals, salts, and waste products from our body. Urea and ammonia are among these substances, and while they do have some antifungal activity in concentrated forms, the concentration in urine is much lower. Scientifically speaking, there's little evidence to support urine as an effective treatment for athlete's foot. Plus, there are hygiene concerns and the risk of worsening your condition. Urea. While we're on the topic, it's worth noting that urea, one of the components found in urine, does have a reputable track record in the medical community. Studies have shown that pharmaceutical grade urea is used to treat a variety of skin conditions, such as dry skin, psoriasis, ichthyosis, and eczema. It's also known for promoting wound healing, treating certain types of hyponatremia, and potentially inhibiting infections related to the enzyme ureas. But here's where it gets interesting. The urea used in medical treatments is highly concentrated and purified, which is a far cry from the urea concentration in the urine. So, while the science behind urea's effectiveness is solid, using urine as a treatment doesn't provide the same benefits. It's a classic case of the right ingredient, but in the wrong form and concentration. We spoke with dermatologists and they unanimously agree. For treating athlete's foot or any skin condition, it's crucial to use treatments that are safe, effective, and backed by scientific research. While the idea of using urine might seem intriguing due to its urea content, the consensus is clear. Stick to the treatments that are designed and tested for these conditions. Potassium studies suggest that while potassium may have beneficial effects on diabetic foot ulcers and athletic recovery, they do not directly address the treatment of athlete's foot. Sulfate sulconazole nitrate is a targeted antifungal medication, specifically designed to tackle the types of fungi responsible for athlete's foot. This distinction is important because it reminds us that not all compounds are created equal, and when it comes to our health, specificity matters. Pros and cons. Now the pros of using urine might include its availability and cost after all, it's free. But the cons far outweigh any potential benefits. Lack of scientific support, hygiene issues, and the risk of infection are significant drawbacks. Alternative treatments. Fortunately, there are plenty of effective and scientifically backed treatments for athlete's foot. Antifungal creams and sprays, proper foot hygiene, and in severe cases, oral medications can all do the trick. And there are also natural remedies with some scientific backing worth considering. Conclusion, to wrap up, while the idea of using urine to treat athlete's foot is certainly interesting, it's not something we can recommend based on the current scientific evidence. Always consult with a healthcare professional before trying out unconventional treatments. If you found this video informative, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Have you heard of any unusual home remedies? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Citations Seragol N. Korkmazef Karoltak I. A new artificial urine protocol to better imitate human urine. Sirep se 2019. Dec 27.91.2159. Doi 
1888 Wild 465.